Hey guys, it's me Danny, and today I'm going to be showing you my video. So this is my Stranger Things review, Volume 2 and Season 4. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen any of these videos, please do not watch it, but if you do, let's keep on with the video. So first of all, we're going to start on with the season. So the season, I wrote it in my book. I'm trying to figure out what that is. So this is what I'm going to talk about. So we're going to talk about Volume 2 and Volume Season 4. So in the last Season 4 episode, we learned that... Um, Eleven is fighting the Mind Flayer, then Billy saves them and he gets killed of course. Then of course Hopper gets gets killed of course. So now she's upset and this is where they, they fight the Mind Flayer people and all the rushing thing. And then in the last video we see a letter sent to Eleven, she crying and then they go to the both ways. So first of all we're going to go on with Eleven. So Eleven is with Will, with Will Jonathan Joyce. She's with them right now, she's staying there in a new school. And she's living herself out. So she, in her mind, still thinks she has the powers, but she doesn't know that. So then she sees Will that is painting her a lot. And she tells Mike, oh, I missed you and stuff. And I used to hear Mr. Two. So in the season, we see him wearing a t-shirt and he's going to the school. So first, we're going to a new character called Eddie Monson. He is the character who likes to do D&D &D games. So I'm going to mention you about the t-shirt that's here right now. T-shirt, it looks like this. It sells the Hellfire Club. I did buy this online because I couldn't get it on the store because it sold out. But yeah, this is what he wears, and it's basically, it's not to do with any Satan and stuff like that, it's just to do with D&D game, that's why it's called Hellfire Club. So, they go to this Hellfire Club, I remember the scene where he's in, in the wardrobe, he's like, oh, you've been to balls or games? Oh, that kind of episode, he goes, bleh, bleh. that was funny. So yeah, going on to the episodes, we then find out he's a very, he, they, they think that he's very, like, a freak, but he's not really a nice person. Then we meet Jason, oh, it's Jason, Jason. Jason's a character I did, was very hard to understand because i was okay with first first time introduction but then after that he just annoyed me moving on going on to that we do gonna go on to chrissy so chrissy is one of the characters of jo um, jason's boyfriend she's a cheerleader we know that she's a nice person she likes to be with anyone what she wants to do then we see that um sorry guys i'm just tired so first of all, we go on there and we see that she's been affected, but she doesn't know that and she gets upset and she doesn't know what to do. Mike then visits Elle. Mike then visits Elle to see her, to see how she's doing. He meets up. Will then wants to give him the painting. I mean, to give it to him. But then he was like, I'm his sister, I'm not going to do it. So in this thing, we know that Will likes Mike. So you know me, I'm a bailer. I got to say to you, I will least a lot of time in in, in the season because I'm not even joking to you. It just annoys me. Anyway, so Will says, "Oh, you know, she'd be lying to you, saying that she's all that, but she's not." But then in this something happens because the bully comes and tries to say, to her, "Let's let's go play with this case." She said, "Okay." She's kind of weird. She's like, "Why is she being friends with me?" Then first of all, they're trying to humiliate her. And before I did not mention, there was a scene where she does that. But she lost all her powers and that's why they're him today trying to do that to her like that to her again and she's basically throwing her slushies and stuff like that she gets upset she goes to somewhere else of course she talks to mike and he's like why did you tell me he's like oh but you didn't tell me you love me so she got upset because she didn't tell me you loved her and mike he should tell me you should love her come on guys speak up so of course that's to have that but you know going on so then, Marion and um, Joyce, I forgot to mention before, but she had some mail saying about the whole Russia thing, but then she finds out that Hopper is alive. Whoa. So she tells the guys, I'm going to go to Alaska so you look after, so Jonathan look after. But Jonathan in this season, he's a bit like, he's not into that college bet. He was like, he smokes with a lot of his friends. And then. Yeah, he did not listen, but then he's like, okay, fine, I'll have to look after them. So he looks after them, of course, she goes to where she wants to go. In the scene, we meet Eddie and Chrissy. I really like Eddie and Chrissy together. I feel like they were they should have gone together, like, being together, like, you know, being together, together. But unfortunately, that did not happen. But I'm happy that, that she get to see. So she sees a clock again, she starts talking to him, she's like, I want, I want to find a way of just to get out of it. So she wants to, them to give a drug, so he's like, are you sure? So I'm sure... He plays with us, so that was very cute. Um, we do find out he's like, if you want to come later, you can come later. So if she comes out later, she gets upset. She doesn't know what to do. 
she gets fucked with right in front of him and he doesn't know what to do so she gets all crippled like this and the special effects in this one oh my gosh this is what i like this season special effects in this season was just mad it was just too much but yeah we then find out that she does get killed he he runs doesn't know what to do max is seeing this because she's seen it from him and i'm sorry for not mentioning about max and lucas so max so yeah max sees him he runs away and that's what happens Max and Liz is still, she's still in the, she's still in the cycle about Billy's death, of course. She sees a therapist. She, as I mentioned before, when, I didn't mention this before, when Eddie said he found a cute for Max, they did ox Max, but she didn't want to do it. So she sees it and she is still in the toll of it. Moving on to Steve and Robin. Steve and Robin are working on a video cassette store. So they're just working there. She just fancies this girl. But she hasn't told her yet. And Steve is single at the moment. So Eddie is running away. All the friends find him. But Jason found out everything. Now he thinks that Eddie is the killer. And that's just kind of annoying because, like, he isn't. He ran away. But he thinks because he's in that club, he thinks it was satanic, so they're going to kill her. But he isn't. So Eleven and Mike... I mentioned before I had a fight, they get up, but then Eleven gets captured by the people from the Brenner family because they want her to talk to her. In this, they talk to her and they say to her that you have the powers back. So in this, we find out more about the powers. Hopper then takes on Dimitri to find a way to get out of there. He does do it and they have the little thing. Jason does beat up the gang people from the Hellfire Club and they say, where is he? And then I don't know. Lucas do the version so he doesn't make them find out. Nancy and Robin do talk. They have a little talk here because in this before Nancy does investigate, but then her friend get killed. And so now she has to talk to other guys to help her. She does get a bit hateful, like a bit rude to Robin. Because she thinks that she's with Robin. Robin's with um, Steve, but she isn't. So she's kind of upset about that. So they talk and then they find out about Victor Krill. So they go there. Max talks to the therapist, talk about things, but the therapist won't take anything. I'm telling you, the therapist has something to do with this, like I said before. Max does get pregnant again, and it's gonna, oh, again, but she gets pregnant, she's upset. So, Jason just talks to Erica, tell her where are they, and she's like, she doesn't know, and he's like, get up defensive. Then Will and Mike talk. Oh, my talk. Hold on, guys, for one second. Okay. So they, they have a little conversation, talking about everything going on, and, you know, and that and that. Robin then go and Nancy go see the crew, and they talk about the story, saying how this, about this whole story, and why, and he, she said he got blamed from a child, so now they think that he's a killer, he killed the family, so that's why the house is all de traumatised, and it's all demented, and it's all, like, crazy. So he tells the truth, and they're like... But why would your name be there? Why would they blame you, you know? So later on, we'll find out why. Hopper does escape, but they get caught again. So now him and Dimitri are inside there. It's Dimitri, yeah. So now they have to find a way. And then we can see the run up the hill. Run up the hill. That song. That goes when Max is running around for the fact now. So she does survive and her friends does help her. Because the music helps her forget about it and she can live. So after that, they notice that mu your favourite music helps you to be better. So after that, they were like, we tried to make you safe. So they're trying to make her safe and everything. Eleven is back to her past. Um, she meets zero zero and number one. So number one is mentioning this. And we later on know who he is in the first one. So they talk to him. She's very sure of him. The other people there are very mean to her. So, you know, that happens. Our girl, Jonathan, Will and Mike go and escape from the people, the, the military, because they're trying to fight Eleven. So they all go to the map to go to this place where she is, so they're like, let's go find a map. The other guns go to the crew house to see what's happening and try to see what's going on there. Then, Mike, Will and Jonathan Argyle go to see Susie for help, because they're like, why? And then they go see her and stuff like that. Eddie tries to escape and someone gets back there again, which is Jason's friend. And now Jason, knowing that he is there, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't think that it's him. How do you not know that's not him? Like, he got victims by the film. Why would he do it? So, of course, Jason then blames Eddie again. 
Police indicates that Eddie is the killer, so it's all that thing all over again. Now everyone knows about it. Now they're like saying to people to be careful with what you're doing to your children because there's a killer out there trying to kill someone else. So now Jason's like, oh, you either do this a Satan thing, and then Erica says, no, it's not a Satan thing. But then they all go talk to Erica, Dustin, Lucas, and them not like, what's going on? They say it's not real, but then the police don't really believe it, and they just believe, um, what's the guy's name? Jason. And he beams up trying to get... Is this why I tell you go crazy? He starts to get a gun, tries to point out a bottle. Because he wants to kill him. I'll tell you, since his girlfriend dies, he still feels he's maniac. Meg for Susie and she tells them they do... They do have... They do understand where it is. They go to the place. Um, Hopper understands truly what's going on. They're trying to feed him so then they can fight the Demogorgon. Look at this. They're going to fight a Demogorgon. They don't even know it's going to be a Demogorgon. Seriously, girl. Seriously, seriously. So, Eleven then goes up her. She talks about people's things. She does struggle, but they blame her, saying, no, oh, it's your fault. Why does he favourite you? So they're all jealous of her, basically, in a way. Mike, uh, sorry. Um, Jason goes crazy. Like I said before, he does go crazy. Jason. Okay, so... Robin, Nancy, Steve and Eddie go upside down. Steve didn't want to go, but they went upside down to see what's going on. And then they find out there's a path and that they can't get any weapons. They want to fight these people, they can't have any weapons. So they go upstairs and Steve gets hurt by the, the bats, but he's okay. But then Erica, Dustin and Lucas do find a way to help them up and they push them up, which is really cool. And that's where they find out and they talk about each other and they're like, we need weapons to fight these demogorgons. We need to find a way to save Max. So they do all these final things. Suzo so one escapes and then helps her, so he does help her from the whole thing and she's gonna power back, which is really good, so he does help and tell her like you don't believe what anyone says and stuff like that. So that's what happens. Hopper then finds the demogorgon and do kill them with Dimitri and that's when he fouls out with and that's when he gets uh, to see Joyce Brave moment. Anyways, so then we see that he's fighting them and then all trying to find a way to go back in time so they can go back and just save the other people, stuff like that. Nancy gets thought she gets pregnant because he goes to her mind. And then this way find out about Sozo number one. Sozo number one is actually pregnant. So now we're going to phone number two. So Eleven puts Vecna upside down. She does find out about what's going on with Vecna's mind. He wants to kill one. He wants to join with Eleven. But she don't agree with it. So she finds out that he's pregnant. So he's the, actually the person who blames Victor Krill about the whole thing. He's the evil guy. And he is what is called Vecna. His name is Vecna, and that's what he is. Vecna. I say Vecna, but you know, Vecna, whatever it's called. Um, Eleven does put him upside down, and then we see that he becomes a horrible, horrible state. Um, this is where we find out about his powers. Mike and Will have a conversation in the car. Mike, oh, this is what really shuts me out. So Will wants to say to him, say to him that, look, he needs to tell you love her. He wants to say the pain. He gives the pain to him, finally. We find out it's like a dragon, saying that he's the, he's he's the, a dragon. He's surviving, surviving everyone else. So we find out that Will does want to confess his feelings, but he doesn't want to because he knows that he likes Eleven. So he's like, I can't do it yet. And when he cried, it made me cry. Because I'll tell you, I cried so much in this episode. I'm not even going to joke. Like, I'm, I'm not even joking. Like, what is this, this show doing to me? So we find out that, you know, he had that talking with him. Um, so they also get weapons like that they run up to Jason. Jason starts to go behind them, but then they're trying to find anything else. Dustin and Eddie had the little bonds to try to kill the demo woman, so that was really cute. I really like that. Then we have Robin and Nancy say, no, Robin, Robin, R R Robin, Robin, Robin and Steve. So, I didn't mention before, I don't know if I mentioned before, I'm going to say it again. Nancy and Robin do talk. I must skip this bit. So, Robin and Nancy do talk with the Victor Cruel thing. Remember, I said to you guys, as she goes there and see, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I want to mention it again. But they don't really talk basis, and I'll explain that a bit later on. So, Dustin and Eddie bond, and then Steve and Steve and Robin had a little thing said, what if we don't make it? She's like, we're going to make it, don't worry about that. Then Eleven escaped... 
and finds Eleven alive. So that's when he found out that Eleven's alive and then she kills Brenner, of course. He get killed, of course. And that's when it all got back to gang together. The gang fights Eve with Eddie. Okay, so in this, we do see that um, they're like, oh, we need to find a way to save Max. So they go into a bathtub and Argyle helps them with ice. And there's a scene where also made me cry as well. <laughs> Too much emotions. So in this episode, we see that um, Will's upset. He's seeing that, you know, they're having a good bond, 11 and Mike, and he's not. And he tells us, brother like and John says like if you need me I'll tell you and I cried at this one I'm sorry if you I'm not joking to you there was a cute scene where Mike and he's like oh pineapple oh eat a pineapple on pizza but she don't want to eat it they eat it's cute that's when in the bathtub she goes back in time and try to help Eleven go to her party to see what she wants to do um there's a solo with Eddie which I really like and he plays Master and Puppets when this came out I was like yes Master and Puppets Metallica <laughs> uh so, as a fun fact um that song got on top of the pops, it was like on top. It's after the run on the hill, it was on top. And also, most of puppets, and now got famous, so yeah. Um, so they all did that to distract the demo back so they could have a plan. Eleven comes back to kill Vecna, but Vecna comes from Max and Eleven, so this was kind of a war. Eddie's death and Jason does pull up in this because Eddie does die from the demo bats trying to save um, Dustin, it was very cute. And then Jason got killed because in this episode, Jason. Um, Jason was trying to, to to take out he was he basically ruined the plan and if he got killed because he got affected as well. Uh he got squashed. I'm sorry, Jason. Sorry if I'm being mean, but you don't understand why. Okay, so um I was gonna say something here. So Eddie's death was very tragic. I cried as well because I was like, why are they doing it to me? Why are they making him cry? Why are they making me cry? I'm making Dustin cry. So he was supposed to go and leave, but he did it because he came back to try to survive the demo bats, but he of course got stabbed. Hopper escapes and helps Joyce fight them again. So that like I said they see you have the little cute together. Then Argo helps Eleven go to the bath, like I mentioned before, she got Max. They help her. In this episode, Max, of course, gets blind. We don't know what's going to go with her right now. She's in the hospital right now, so we don't know what's going to happen. Eleven does go back and try to do as much as she can, but like I said, she doesn't know what to do. Um, Nancy does try to beat up Vecna, so the whole thing was very cute, and they did everything to do to, to survive. The ending explained is that Eleven does reunite with Papa. It was a very cute moment, and Joyce, and it all got a good time. In the end, we do see that Nancy and Jonathan do say, but they don't really well explain you why they're kind of a complicated relationship in the same relationship. They were supposed to say to each other they don't want to go together, but you no. Know. Yeah. Then we are going to find out that when Will does this, for something how bad happens, she goes to the thing where Mike's giving a flowers, and that's when we find out that it's just a whole world and it's end like that. End of season four, bone two, done guys! Yay! Okay. So my picture of the end of season five, I'm thinking maybe that Eleven could kill, 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 maybe, maybe, well, because Vector's is dead, but we don't know what's going to happen. Will could be affected in the end of season five. I'm thinking he could be in danger because he's also, also has that thing when he does that all the time. And the painting of the dragon, I think that's going to be one of the, the demons that they're going to have to kill. So I think that's what's going to happen. But yeah, I am finished with this season. So, this is season 5, and that's the last season that's coming up down. So now I'm going to do my characters. So, first of all, it's going to Will. Will is a very cute character. I wish they I wish they didn't have to reject... I wish he wouldn't be rejected that much in the season. I really liked his character. When he couldn't really, like, confess to um, Mike his feelings to him, it was kind of hard because he didn't want to ruin the relationship that he had with Mike. And I'm kind of upset about that because I really want him... I really want the season, five, the season five to be recognized and to be loved because he wasn't loved in the season, and when he was crying in in the in the car in the caravan and trying to confess to him, and Jonathan knew this, Jonathan knew this, I was upset about that. But yeah, I like Will, Mike in his character. I not like I don't like him in this season, this couple of seasons. I liked him season one, season two, but now he just get annoying me now. He doesn't show the love, so I think maybe he could break up off eleven. I think, and I don't know. Like I said. 
Eddie is a character that I think he could live. My prediction is that he could turn to a vampire in combat because when Steve got bit by Zebra, but he was fine, so maybe he could be lived, so I don't know yet. Jason does annoy me, and I really hope that he died. I'm sorry, guys. I have, I'm very sorry, but he just annoyed me, and I don't know how he doesn't annoy people. It just annoys me. Bye-bye. Luke is a very good character. I'm happy that... I didn't mention before, but I'm going to mention now that I'm happy that he gets to be with Max and they get to get that little bonding thing. I hope he doesn't lose Max because that would be very heartbroken for him. And I don't want that for him. So um, that's fun for Lucas. But I'm glad that he's gone back again. Hopper, I'm very happy. Hopper did very good. They said that he did lose a lot of weight in this episode and that he did it for the, I think, the season. But hopefully that he does um, have that recognition with Eleven. Nancy, I do like Nancy, but sometimes I don't really, um, there's a scene that I didn't tell you guys, there was an episode where she was again lovely lovely to Steve, and I don't want that to Steve, I just feel like it was better, she was just by herself, so, I think that she's still a baddest person, but I just don't like her with relationships. Steve, my man, needs to stop having relationships with people, he needs to be single and just live life with Robin, just stay, be friends with her, I don't want to be, to be rejected and be hurt again, like, that's why the worth for Steve, and I really like Steve as a character, but, like I said, he's, I just don't want him to, to go through that again. Robin, I forgot to mention in the last episode, Robin does just meet up with the Vicky girl. Hopefully they do get together. And I forgot to mention Eddie's dad when they find out he died and then doesn't hug him. That was cute. So I really like that part. Dimitri is a very good character too. Hopefully he does get into it and be, you know, friends with them. We have Dustin who is love Steve and Dustin, so I really like the relationship between him. I don't know if he's smart and Steve's like, why are you being so jealous? It's so funny. Angela does irritate me. I'm like, girl, bye. Jonathan is a very good character. I really feel like in this next season, he should just have a break from Nancy, just be single because I think that their relationship is very complicated because in the end, end of the episode, they were supposed to say this, they're not together because they don't, they don't really want to get together. Like, I don't understand. Just say you want to break up, that's it. Don't need to do all that nonsense. Chrissy was a very good character. I really wish they would put her more. And I've heard that they said after that they killed her off. In the they said that they should have kept her after that. I mean, they they should have kept her actually because she had a very good development. And I feel like she would looked she she did was very very good well with Eddie. And I'm telling you this. She's also a very good character. I really like Joyce, and I'm hoping in this next season we see more about her. Erica is very good. I really like her badass state, and I really feel like she should like really know. Fekna is a very interesting character. I really like the actor. I feel he's cute. But in this season, he's very annoying. Oh, seriously. Murray is a very good character. I really like Murray. And I really want to see the next... I really don't want him to die because I really like Murray. I, feel, I like his kung fu action. Vic is a very good character. I feel like they could get together with Robin. Susie. I did like Susie, but she's not her interesting story. It's not really interesting. I just feel like... Okay, whatever. So, the things that I liked was the episode of Max when she runs away. That's the Dear Billy episode. It's my favourite episode. And the last episode where they all get together. Like, especially when Eddie played the guitar solo of Master of Puppets. That's very good. I really like that episode. So, yeah. What I didn't like was the Susie episode. Because I feel like it was not even relevant. But, okay. Um, what do you think I could have changed? Um... I feel like they could have changed the whole Chrissy relationship with Eddie. I feel like if they had a relationship between them both, I think it would be, be really good. I feel like they would, it would be a very good character, like her beat up the guys. And even him, if there was a graduation with him, Chrissy and all of them together would be very cute. I really think that should have been in this episode. But, you know. And what ship that I like? The ship that I like to do is I'm a Byla stan. So I like my Kabyla. And I'm a Chopper. Sorry, I'm a Hopper. Okay, so that is my full season. I know this is short and 20 minutes, but like I said, I'm going for my my time for my phone, you know, see. So that is it for now. I really enjoyed this season. I really feel like season five will be last season, so I feel it's like be emotional. Like I said, I am hashtag Joseph for Will. I feel like Will should need to be loved for next season, please. I'm not doing this again with him again. But yeah, that's it, guys, for the video. If I didn't say anything, then... I'm sorry that I said what mostly I can say. But apart from that, I really enjoyed the season. I really like special effects. I know people, some people in the, the news will say like, oh, they like it because it was too, it was too, it was too scary. But I liked the special effects when the way they got fecknered and the whole, I don't know how they did it. It's so good. But I really liked it. And I liked the season. And it was so good. But yeah. Hey guys, I'm going to go now, but comment down below with you think. My Instagram is down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So, yeah.
Like, can I mention anything I didn't forget? No. Okay, guys. Well, that's it for me today. Today. Okay, so if I didn't mention about the whole Vecna thing, so I'm going to explain to you why. So then the Vecna thing, we see that um, he basically is the, the little boy and now he wants the revenge. And he blamed on the Victor Crow guy. So he basically, he shouldn't be in a crazy hospital. He should be fine. So he was goals from his eyes because of because of him. He made him do it. So I feel like, I did feel sorry for the guy. And it's good that we get to know why and know why he's like that. And he's evil. So, you know. And guys, he's the, basically the guy. He's the one who created the Mind Flyer and stuff. He created it, everything. So that's why we see the Mind Flyer. Then we're going to do lots of stuff. I'm like, what? And I was like, when I found out that was, well, that was the ending, I was like, what? Are you joking me? That kind of annoyed me. I was like, what? Anyways, I'm going to go now, guys. So I'll see you next time in the video. Bye, guys.